Hi, everyone. My name is Danielle. I'm the lead packaging designer at Ecovative. And I believe that packaging should never last longer than its product. We've all been there. We've all experienced the plague of overpackaging. Sometimes it gets recycled, which takes some energy. Uh, sometimes it makes its way to the landfill, which is getting increasingly more expensive. Sometimes it ends up in the ocean. Not only is this harmful to wildlife, but when it breaks down into microplastics, it's making its way into the human food chain. Collection is both difficult and costly, but imagine a world where packaging could just return to the earth without causing any harm to the environment or to us. This is what Ecovative is doing by harnessing the power of mycelium. As the visionary Buckminster Fuller once said, you never change things by fighting against the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the old model obsolete. The old model is single-use packaging. But in the world of commerce, no matter what you're selling, packaging is vital in both protecting a product as well as communicating your brand values to customers. More and more customers are starting to care about the story behind bringing a product to life. But packaging should never last longer than its product. As a designer, I knew that I didn't want to bring more unnecessary waste into the world. So I found Ecovative, where we grow materials using mycelium, which is the root structure of mushrooms. It acts like a natural glue to bind agricultural waste together as it grows. Unlike foam packaging, it's fully home compostable. So you can break it up uh, into the soil and throw it in your backyard, and it will compost in 45 days. So here's a behind the scenes look at our process. First, we fill the agricultural waste into custom molded forms. Over the years, Ecovative has experimented with over 200 types of agricultural waste, including corn, aspen, hemp, straw, barley, even some strange things like M&Ms, old jeans, human hair. That was a weird one. <laughs> uh, we currently use hemp in all of our packaging. So we let the parts grow for six days in these forms. The last two days, we remove the forms and let the mycelium grow externally to create a soft, velvety layer of overgrowth. Lastly, we dry the parts to stop the growth so that they don't fruit into mushrooms. Not only is this end product home compostable, but it's a passive manufacturing process. It's self-assembling, and it uses only one-tenth the amount of energy needed in the production of synthetic foams. So as the designer, I'm responsible for working directly with businesses to design their packaging. This is a picture of me in the shop. That's, this is not <laughs> my usual attire. <laughs> uh, we start with the concept design and quote, and once that's approved, we move into prototyping and fabrication of the forms. Our customers still choose mushroom packaging, despite the longer lead times and the slightly higher upfront costs, because they understand the long-term environmental benefits and the long-term cost savings of using a compostable product. We do all of this design, research, and development of mycelium technology in our pilot plant in upstate New York, about three hours north of here, uh, with our small but talented team of 45 people, including mycologists, biologists, engineers, designers, uh, as well as our business development team. We don't actually have a sales team because our product has done a pretty good job of selling itself up until now. <laughs> uh, since we're primarily research driven, our IP is extensive and we have 38 patents in 31 countries. Once a piece of technology is ready to scale up, we license our material around the world. So 
We started over a decade ago with mushroom packaging. Over that time, we've displaced millions of cubic feet of unnecessary waste. We've partnered with people like Dell, IKEA, and Sealed Air. But currently, we've seen more interest from smaller companies that are more conscious of what they're putting into the world. They're primarily led by millennials, like me, who are lamenting their unboxing experience and on a quest for sustainable alternatives. Companies like Seed Health, Keep Candles, Ink Mill, Openly Human, and Hudson Hemp are all great examples of this. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Hudson Hemp, who is actually launching their new product line treaty in one week from now. So our vision for mushroom packaging is to create a regional distribution chain. Wherever the product is being distributed, it can be packaged with locally grown material. This will save costs on shipping, as well as decrease the carbon footprint. We have licensees worldwide who are already participating in this. We have partners on the West Coast in California. We have partners in the Netherlands who have been in business for about a year. And we have partners in New Zealand, the UK, Australia, as well as, as several more conversations in the pipeline. In order to grow this new model of localized manufacturing, we've optimized our process to be easily scalable. For mushroom packaging to grow, it's reached a point where it's ready to move out of our pilot plant to allow us to focus on new emerging, emerging mycelium technology. Because packaging isn't the only thing we do. Based on the robustness of mycelium technology, it lends itself well to other applications, such as furniture, lamps, planters, acoustic panels, uh, even some toys, like this bear. But we didn't stop there. We kept exploring new possibilities of what we can do with mycelium. And now we're able to grow pure mycelium, which lends itself well to applications in the cosmetics industry for single-use foam applicators, as well as face masks and other cosmetics applications, uh, as well as textiles as a leather alternative. And by harnessing the power of differences in types of edible mycelium, we're expanding into the food space. So we've created cellular scaffolding as a plant-based meat alternative to create whole cut meat products. This is us, or some of us, on a foray. Um, we're only a small network and are the only ones in the world who have scaled up mushroom-based packaging. What we've been able to do in a short amount of time gives me hope for our future. So we hope you'll join us in our efforts to create a more sustainable and conscious world. And if you'd like to check out some materials, we'll be over in a booth outside. <laughs> so thank you, everyone, and have a good day.